A black owned bank from Detroit is coming to Minneapolis. First Independence Bank is one of 18 black owned banks in the United States. It is the first time this bank has ventured outside of Michigan to set up shop. As Reg Chapman reports, some of the largest banks in the Twin Cities encourage them to come here. We're coming there with the intent of listening first and being a servant second. Chairman and CEO of First Independence Bank, Kenneth Kelly, is excited to be expanding to the land of 10,000 lakes. He knows the region's big racial wealth gap, and he hopes the addition of this black-owned bank can help. It's an opportunity for us to really live our value system and, most importantly, to serve the community. Uh, we recognize the issues there in Minneapolis, and we are coming really humbly to figure out how can we be a part of the collaboration that you've seen. It's unprecedented in a manner that would certainly be a benefit to the community there. The first branch will open in November off of University Avenue Southeast. Hiawatha Avenue and Lake Street will be home to its second branch. Kelly commends Wells Fargo, U.S. Bank, Huntington, Brimmer Bank, and Bank of America for the commitment to putting community first by inviting another financial institution to the area. We had some pre-existing relationships with some of the firms and it just made it that much easier as we start exploring how can we work together I will give them credit. All five of those banks had a discussion and thought through how can we do this collectively, check our brands at the door in a manner that will be to the benefit of the people of Minneapolis. And so First Independence Bank was created after the 1967 riots in Detroit. Community and business leaders involved in this move believe working with First Independence is the first step in erasing disparities that have existed for generations. You know, having a black owned bank is, is one step in an entire financial ecosystem that we need to bring to this region uh, to help sort of minimize many of these economic disparities that we're all concerned about. Rich Chapman, WCCL 4 News. South High graduate Damon Jenkins will serve as regional president. Jenkins has worked in the Twin Cities for both Wells Fargo and U.S. Bank.